Hello, my stamping friends. My name is Marilyn, Stamping Creations with Marilyn. And today I'm coming to you to share a tool tip on what I'm trying to do each week, a tool tip Tuesday for you. And let you know something that I discovered just this afternoon. I was creating this card for a swap. And as you can see, I have a number of die cuts and thought, how am I going to line them up? So this one, I did lay on my grid paper. I used some washi tape, and then I flipped it over and glued it, and then I put it on. And and it's okay. They are lined up, like, with a quarter inch in between. But then I was doing some... I was, actually, I was searching for what I was going to put on my Tooltip Tuesday. And I had a picture of this from a long time ago, because it's been in my craft drawer, not my kitchen drawer, for quite a while because I've used it for a couple of different techniques. And I thought, I wonder if that would work. So I, after supper, I came back to my table and I was able to create these two fairly quickly. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a quick video instead of just a post and show you how I did that. So I have my, I guess I need some, some die cuts. I have my grid paper. I have my press and seal, which is sticky enough for the paper. And well, sticks in my hand a little bit too. I just laid it on there. I took my colors and decided which way I wanted them to go because all my cards are going to be a little bit different. So I I'm going to do that. Then all I did was I took and lined these up with the lines on the grid paper upside down and tried not to move the grid paper so that I had my measurements correct. So your grid paper has quarter inch lines you can line them up along the bottom. I'm just leaving one quarter inch space in between. And if your paper moves, you can line it up again. Another green one. These are all the in colors, if you haven't guessed, from 2024 to 2026. I am in a swap. Um, where we were to use in colors, and this is my my design. And so there are my pieces lined up like I want them. I'm going to add my liquid glue and try not to get too much because I don't want to have to um, be wiping it up afterwards. So you could use your stamp and seal because it's a flat surface and would work then what i did i have these stamped already with my little hearts in the corners i just brought it in i take my press and seal with my die cuts on it and try to line it up so i've got kind of the same space on either side kind of in the center and I don't think it really matters. Then I brought in my my brayer just to make sure everything was going to stay where it should be. And seal the, the press and seal off. And I thought, wow, I was impressed. I hope you're impressed. I hope you like the tool tip for today. And I will see what I can come up with for next time. Let me know. Bye now.